Hey, hey, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Chelsea, and I am a mom to a three and a half month old baby girl. We conceived her through IVF, so here on my channel, I do a lot of videos to support the IVF and infertility community, as well as videos on motherhood and what it's like being a working mom. Um, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you what is in my diaper bag. I actually have two diaper bags here. So if you are curious to see what I keep in my like main diaper bag and then what I keep in this little quick on the go, like grab and go little diaper bag, go ahead and keep watching. So like I said, my baby is three and a half months old. So what I have in my diaper bag right now is obviously geared towards that age. And I'm sure this will change and evolve as she gets older. Um, but yeah, let's just jump right in and check out what's in my, let's do this uh, smaller diaper bag first. I will have everything mentioned linked down below in the description. So if you guys are curious to check out these items yourself, you can just look down in the description box and there will be direct links to where you can purchase and look at what I have here. Starting with this little bag, I wanted something that um, wasn't so big because this diaper bag is quite big and I don't need this all the time. In fact, I feel like I use this one a little bit more than this one um, just because my daughter Ray is pretty low maintenance. I don't need a ton of stuff and we don't like take her a lot of places to be honest. We mostly just keep her here at home. Um, we haven't gone too many like crazy places yet. So, um, so this little diaper bag, it's not really a diaper bag. It's just a little backpack I got from Target that I thought was cute. I love the pink. Um, I've told, I'm just totally into this blush pink color right now. Um, so I got this at Target. It was about 20 bucks, I think. Um, like I said, I'll have it linked below. So this just has one little like pouch in here um, and then a zipper little pocket. So not a whole lot going on here, but it's great for just on the go. Um, it's also great because you can wear this over your shoulder or you can pull the straps this way and wear it as a backpack. So I just, I love this. Okay, so what I have in here, I have diapers, obviously, just a couple diapers. I usually keep two or three diapers in here. Um, I have a burp cloth, which this is a burp cloth from Burt's Bees and I absolutely love these ones. They're the best burp cloths that I've used so far in these three months as a mom. <laughs> and then I have these little uh, bibs that I think are awesome. They're super absorbent. I got these on Amazon, I think like in 12 pack or an eight pack. I'm not sure. I'll have it linked below, but these are amazing. Ray drools like crazy these days. So these are awesome. And then I have these little, I've talked about these before on my channel, these little munchkin diaper pad covers or liners, whatever they're called. I just have one of those folded up in there. Um, so that's great if we're ever out and about and I don't want her to lay her right on a changing pad or not a changing pad, um, like a changing table, you know, like at a restaurant or something. Like I don't necessarily want to lay her flat on that. Then I always keep like a little onesie in here just in case she needs a little change of clothes. Um, I think that's only happened to us once where we've had to use the onesie that we put in here. Um, I also always pack a little snack for me. So this is a little fig bar and these are just yummy little snacks. Um, I usually like to keep a snack or two in every bag or purse I use. So that is great to have on hand. Of course I have wipes. These wipes are just the seventh generation free and clear wipes. I like the size of this package. I think it is perfect for on the go. And oh, and then I have a binky. And she just uses the Avent Sudi brand. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but that's what she uses. And then I also have this Dr. Bronner's, uh, what do you call this? Hand sanitizer. Um, I like this one because it's not um, like full of chemicals, I guess. <laughs> And then in the little uh, zipper pouch, I have gum and my real salt pocket shaker. This is just salt that I keep on the go because I like to salt my own food with my good salt. Um, also, this is really great if you have a headache, you can pour a little on your 
hand and take some water and it just, because this has like natural minerals in it, it really helps to relieve headaches, I think for me it has at least. And then I just have a NYX Butter Gloss. This is my favorite one in the color Angel Food Cake, so it's just kind of my go-to. And that is it for my on the go. I don't know why I keep calling it on the go, but it's like grab and go like a quick diaper bag where I don't need a bunch of stuff. Okay, now we're moving on to my heavy duty, big time <laughs> diaper bag. This is one we use when we're gonna be out and about for long periods of time or if someone's babysitting Ray, this is what I um, use when I drop her off with them because it just has basically everything you would need you know, for even like an overnighter or whatever, for a long period of time, you'd be good with this. Also, sometimes I take Ray up to the office with me um, where I work and she kind of hangs out with me there. And so if I ever take her up to the office, this is what we take with us just in case, you know, we need, you know, she's gonna be up there for a full day with me and we need a lot. Okay, so starting with the bag itself, um, this is just a bag I got on Amazon. To be honest, I just searched on Amazon the highest rated best priced bag, um, diaper bag. I really didn't care what it looked like. I just wanted it to be um, a good quality bag that both Eric and I could strap on our bags and wear. Um, I didn't want it to be too girly looking because I just didn't want to be the one that always had to wear this backpack. So this is what I found. It had tons of reviews, honestly. I want to say I had like 6,000 reviews something like that, tons of reviews, and it was like rated four and a half stars. So because of that, we just went with this one because we're like, obviously people really enjoy this one. And it was really cute because when I opened up the backpack, there was, um, when I first got it, there was a little uh, burp cloth in there and a little note from the family who owns the company and sells these backpacks. So I thought that was a nice little touch. On the side of the backpack, I just have this munchkin uh, diaper bag I don't know what to call this little thing, but basically um, you keep little bags. They look like doggy bags. These are scented bags that you can stick your dirty diapers in. And so when you throw your diaper away on the go, you're not stinking up someone's trash or you know a trash at a restaurant or something. So I love having these. And then I guess we'll just start with the front pocket. The very front pocket is where I keep inkies because you know you wanna be able to grab those right away. So there's just two more of those. I always keep two in there because you're bound to lose one of them. And then just some hand sanitizer. I would like to replace this hand sanitizer with the Dr. Bronner's one again and pick up another one of those. Then in this pocket we have, oh, we have a bottle from yesterday because Eric and I took Ray to work with us. And I love this bottle in here, but just goes to show I did not like change up anything before filming this video. I just grabbed the bag to see what was in the bag just on the go. So we need to wash that bottle. I don't usually keep bottles in here unless we are gonna be out and about and I am planning on feeding her bottle. I usually breastfeed her so I don't really need to keep bottles in here unless we are taking her um, to a babysitter or whatever and then I pack bottles right here. And I really like how these have the insulated carriers for the bottles, which is great. And then it also has this random pocket that I don't ever really use. Sometimes I'll actually stick a um, burp cloth right there just cause to keep it all with the feeding stuff. Then there's this random little pouch right here. And all I have in here is this clip and go thing that you stick on your stroller or like a shopping cart. So you can carry your diaper bag that way so that's neat and I like that it has this little snap clip thing right here so you can keep the handles together and there's this next pocket oh and by the way I don't really have anything in these side pockets sometimes I'll put like a water bottle for me in these side pockets but usually they're empty um, okay, so I don't really have anything in here right now sometimes in this part right here I'll stick dirty clothes, soiled clothes, which it's also nice to have this for any soiled clothes. Um, and here's just snacks for me right now. So I've got more of these bars. I've got these bars. I've got some jerky sticks and that's about it. Oh, these random little electrolytes, like energy shoes. 
and that's it. Okay, now we're getting to the big pocket where all the goods are. So at the top I have a blanket, just the little, I think it's the little unicorn brand. What is the, yeah, little unicorn brand. This has cute little hedgehogs on it. I love that one. I usually keep a like pajama outfit in here, little sleeper. And then I've got another Burt's Bees burp cloth, her car seat cover, as well as like a nursing cover. That's really nice to have. Another one of these little bibs, because I'm telling you, she is drooling all over the place. I got this when I did my, I think, Amazon registry. I got this little bag with some diapers and wipes in it. And so it's been really nice because I just keep it in here and it has, I usually keep about four or five diapers in here, depending on how long we're gonna be gone somewhere. And then some wipes. And then I have a couple toys. She doesn't really need these, but she is getting more interested in toys. And she's like looking at things that we put in front of her face more. So I do have a couple little toys. I like this one because it's uh, um, black and white. So it kind of grabs her attention, that high contrast. And then I have this one because she's starting to take an interest in like mirrors and sounds. So this has like squeakers and stuff like that in a rattle. This can also attach to um, the car seat. And of course my dog comes running because he hears that squeak noise. I ordered this on Amazon. It is a sound machine. Um, I think it was like 12 bucks. So it was a pretty great deal and it works great. It's just battery powered. So you can just, um, you can have it time. You can time it out for how long the sound goes for. It plays lullabies, it plays like ocean sounds. I think we just mainly keep it on the white noise. We haven't really used any of the other sounds. We just keep it on the white noise. And we have we use it um, sometimes on the go. Like I used it when, like during a work meeting the other day, I just put her car seat cover over her car seat um, stroller and then um, put the sound machine like it tucked into uh, her car, her stroller her car seat. So that way she could hear it, but we couldn't really hear it. And then it helped her go to sleep. Um, oh, looks like I have another little sleeper. I got this and that other one in a little four pack or something on Amazon. So that, I have that in there. I also keep a shirt for me in here because you never know when you're gonna need a change of clothes. I have this cute little baby unicorn. We got this as a gift at our baby shower. Uh, such a cute little book. Um, like I said, it's, she's starting to look at things that we put in front of her face. So. This one grabs our attention a little bit and we kind of wiggle this around and she'll stare at it. Um, to be honest, she's super low maintenance. She really doesn't need a lot of toys or anything like that. I just grab them because why not keep them in there and maybe one day she'll really, like, it'll really save us. All right, so I'm totally understanding why everyone li likes this bag because it is so nifty. There's so many awesome pockets in here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's like two pouches, a zipper. There's this little pouch for the um, changing pad. Um, there's two side pouches, so you could stick like bottles right there or whatever, but we have, on the one side we have diaper, cream, and like uh, shampoo and uh, body, like uh, soap for the bath, which I put in there because we got those for free in a registry. Um, and they're just travel size and they're they've actually come in handy because we went swimming once at our friend's house And then we wanted to bathe her right after so it was nice to just have like her own little soaps and lotions that we can use um, So yeah, it was a, a, a shampoo and body wash and then a soap um, and then another little set of diaper wipes because you seriously can never have enough of those um, and that's the Honest brand. And then I got these sent in the mail. This is um, just like on the go formula and two little packs. So I should probably put just an empty bottle in here just in case I ever need to use the packs of formula. Like I said, I breastfeed her, so I don't really need those, but I just thought just in case of an emergency, then she would have them. Oh, and it also has a little nipple that you can put on this formula bottle so that's nifty and like I said I just got those as a sample like just mailed to me I don't even know where the where it came from to be honest I mean I know the brand it came from but I don't know why they mailed it to me they must just like know who's having babies and then they ship them formula as a way of advertising so 
Um, okay, and then in this other, like, side pocket, I keep all her little clothes, like, accessories. So I have mittens. Got those from Amazon for, I think, an 8-pack for 10 bucks. I don't know. I'll have it linked below. Some socks. Another pair of socks. Another little uh, bandana, because she goes through those like crazy. A handkerchief that my father-in-law actually gave to us at a wedding when we brought Ray with us. Um, it was really bright and sunny out, and so he put this like over her face so that she wouldn't get burned. Um, so I just keep that in there now. And I've washed, I've washed it a couple times and used it a couple times. It's come in handy, so we just keep it in there. And then another white onesie because you can always use more of those. All right, and then we have this last pocket right here, and that has just some gum, some sunglasses for me, which I just got these at Target. I think they were like 15 bucks, oops. And then I have some nursing covers, pad covers, and more salt. And that is it, you guys. That is what I keep in both diaper bags. I really enjoy having two different ones so that I don't always have to carry this big one around with me. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. I would love to chat with you guys over there. And if you have any other suggestions of things I should keep in my diaper bag, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye. Look who woke up from her nap. And she just spit up everywhere. I'm gonna go eat now, huh? Alright, let's go.